Right, hey guys and welcome back to another stream today. Um, we are continuing just like this afternoon with Crash Bandicoot, the third game, Crash Bandicoot 3. And from what I can tell, we are about to access the very final five levels. Well, I'm guessing it's five levels and, and then the boss, I think, anyway. So... Um, I don't think we're going to be doing anything else after this. It depends how quick this could be. Because I'm not sure maybe we'll struggle really hardly on these five levels. But I don't think so because this game has been relatively easy compared to the other two Crash Bandicoot games. So I think we should be uh, doing this quite quick. I'm not sure what we'll do after that. We'll see. Hey Camille, thanks ever so much for the sub. Welcome to the stream. And welcome to the stream, Lucas, Harry, and Aradia. Uh, yes, we are doing two streams a day. Hopefully from now on. Uh, we are going to be taking Saturdays off, though, if we're going to be doing that. Because I do need a bit of a break. So tomorrow, they probably won't be a stream. But the rest of the days, 99% of the times, I will be doing two streams a day. Uh, I did post the schedule on Discord, but I will repost it on Twitter and all that once. Once I'm 100% sure that the uh, schedule will start, okay? But yes, in basically we will um, we will be doing two streams every single day, except Saturdays we are going to take off. I think it's only fair. I need to get some rest at least once a week, okay? Because apart from streaming, I do have to do a lot of other things as well. But um, in general, yeah, more streaming for you guys and for me, which obviously... Uh, I enjoy. By the way, I'm just gonna. Since somebody subbed, did this boss thing work? No, it didn't. I wish I'd fucking fix this boss thing. Because <clears throat> this boss bar, uh, like when somebody subs or donates, it, the boss boss's health is meant to go down. It isn't working. Don't know why. I think maybe Streamlabs is fucking up. Uh, I don't think it's fucking up. I think it's just because it's a very new feature. So I may. I think it's probably not implemented uh, completely. So I, I guess I just have to wait until they finally implement it. I'm just going to give it a quick look. I'm not going to waste too much time like before with it. But I will give it a quick look. Right, so. Because like if we do a test donation, it works. Sorry, a test sub, it works. Oh shit, I forgot about that jar thing. God damn it. The jar's filling up with shit I didn't want, but alright. I'm just gonna. It should. Hopefully, the boss should recharge its health. Not that it really makes any difference. Yeah, it did reset its health. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna turn the boss thing off because it's not working properly yet. I guess it's because it is a very new feature, so, yeah. Hey mister, how's it going mate? Good to see you. Welcome back to the stream. So yeah, we are going to be continuing with these five last levels of Crash Bandicoot 3. Which is the the final game as well. So we've got some, got some interesting looking levels coming up. I really enjoy those racing and driving levels. That's what I've been enjoying most about this game to be honest. Like there's so much more variety in this game than the first two games that I can really appreciate that in these kind of games like you can actually tell that the third one is an upgrade compared to the other two so <clears throat> right not a good start like I said I'm not a big fan of any futuristic or robotic type um, sceneries in games so I mean, this one's not as bad. It's kind of still... I wouldn't say it's outside, but it's in like a, a city or something. So, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let it slip. I just hope hope it's not any more of them. Well, there probably won't be since we are in like the last few levels, luckily. But I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think out of the three games, this one is... Um, oh, you can't go underneath him. Oh, that guy died in one hit. I was expecting that to be more like a a mini boss or something, but we just like literally killed him one hit. But yeah, so far this game has been my favourite of the three. Just because of the uh, amount of 
fuck, the amount of um, variations and different types of levels there has been, like, gameplay-wise and scenery-wise. <clears throat> because, I mean, the other, like, the first one was, yeah, whatever. I mean, the first one it was definitely the hardest. Don't get me wrong, like, difficulty-wise, the first one was just ridiculous. But, I don't know. These, wait, what, wait, wait, wait. But these guys are on, oh, this, I, I didn't really think much about the second game, to be honest. Uh, I didn't, I'd say the second one's probably my least favourite, but the only reason for that being is because it didn't stand out on anything. Like, the first one stood out its difficulty, this one's standing out with, like, um, different gameplay uh, mechanics and modes and different environments, which I really do appreciate. Definitely got the best environments, by the way, this game does. So... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not sure really what to say after that because they're definitely not going to get any more, are they? They're not. They're not going to come out now with like fucking Crash Bandicoot Four. So it's like I can't really get my hopes up for a new game or anything. But just in case you're interested in my verdict, there, there you have it. I guess. All right. What's the difference of green and blue. The screen just sim. No, what is? No, it's no difference at all. I thought maybe green was going backwards or something. These bosses are fucking... I, I call them bosses just because they're big. Probably shouldn't do that because they're like... <laughs> they may be big, but they're like the weakest enemy I've seen in a fucking video game, I think. Normally, oh shit, look at that. I nearly said look at all those mushrooms. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Do they look like mushrooms to you, dude? We call them mangoes, we call them apples, we call them wumpa fruit, which is actually what they're called, I think. But definitely not mushrooms. There's some weird looking mushrooms, but that's not a mushroom, mate. Right. I can't hear the music. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the music. Uh, maybe we should turn the PS4 volume up a tiny bit for you guys. I'm not sure. Just let me know. Right, look at all this. Look, look at the reflection. I wonder what that looked like on PS1 in good days. Did that reflection exist on PS1? I got my doubts. I got my doubts about those reflections being a thing on PS1. You never know, though. You never know. Probably underestimate the PS1. All right. I'm not <laughs> that, that, that totally worked as intended. I do your shit, dude. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm, didn't know we could double jump those guys. I mean, I did, but I didn't think it would actually be high enough to kill them. That hitbox, though. We was like, fucking don't hear it. Yeah, fuck off. Double jump. Double jump. Double jump is definitely more... More useful than I thought. There we go. I'm not sure how many. Uh, I got a feeling they give you more lives on this game every time you die as well. Because we literally just run out of lives and we're still like two left. Maybe maybe we got a few lives in this level and I didn't realize it. Could be the reason. Don't know. I think on the other games they gave you like three lives uh, if you died completely to do the level. I find it still find it, find it amazing how these people that like managed to save up like 99 lives or something stupid. Like I said, like this this game's probably the easiest out of the three in my opinion. But there's still no way I'm gonna be doing that. Like I'm I'm still always like at the limit of like lowest lives, you know what I mean? I really don't know how people get good at this kind of game to do that. I guess it's a lot of experience probably when they were younger as well in the original games that kinda of makes sense. Alright, first level. I should have probably said like no no. Completely forgot to do that. God damn it. As, apart from YouTube notifications being shit and not going out, I forgot to mention I was going live on Discord as well. God dang it. <coughs> I've already done like a whole level, you fucking idiot. Anyway. Oh, nice. Okay, th this is the type of levels I really like on this game. These are racing levels. I wish I was a bit shorter, but harder. 
like short and hard races must be the best hey dark killer how's it going mate good to see you welcome to the stream dude how's your day mate right orange asphalt sounds uh daring i think like here they could have changed the environment maybe on different levels i mean they're changing like the type of the uh, time of day i think i don't think last time it was like as afternoonish I think they should change the environment, maybe like a grassy little level. What kind of roadblock is that police guy got going on there? I've never seen that type. Of, I'm not. I'm not sure if they use that strategy in real life. Look at that strategy of roadblock. The actual fuck. I wonder how much petrol he pays get to do that. Jesus Christ. There's some weird strategy that that this police force has got to fucking block the roads. Just gotta keep going backwards and forwards. Hey, Dark Souls Defense. Great to see you, mate. How's your day going? Welcome to the stream. Right, so, oh fuck me. It's really frustrating how it doesn't turn at all. When these police guys, we need more polices like this in my country and in your country. In every country, we need more police forces like this that just block the road by going backwards and forwards non stop randomly. That's the best kind of strategy to block a road, isn't it? The fuck? Oh damn it. Right, this is actually. This almost feels like a proper bloody race now. The track's way long. The fuck? How long is this race? Oh my god. I wouldn't say the turn and physics um, are the best on this game. <laughs> the turn and physics are a bit. Especially for a bike, alright? The bike levels are a 9. I kind of enjoy them. I mean, I don't like them being so long because there's so many different fucking things you can fuck up on and we missed that and that was not one of the things I was expecting to fuck up on but I like the difficulty they've, they've got going on I like, that how, I like how that guy just went direct what the actual fuck I like how that guy just said fuck it we'll just go go through the dirt if it was a bit shorter I'd like it more the only thing that is a bit weird is how long they are I think bottle water. I don't restart. <sighs> but apart from that, I actually find it kind of interesting. I kind of wish there was on a different um, theme. Like instead of like a desert theme, maybe, I don't know, more of like a Mario Kart theme kind of thing, like with green grass around it or something. I don't know, more, I don't know, more casual. Maybe is the word? I don't know. There's no fucking way you're just gonna see that. That was so much bullshit, is that like that that hole is pretty much invisible to my eyes. I'm not sure what kind of eyesight you're meant to have for this game, but holy fuck, that's trial and error. At least it is for me and my eyesight anyway. And why would anybody put just pieces of wood across the road when there's not actually a hole and then when there is a hole, don't put any warning at all? Logic. That's the best type of logic. <laughs> Put a warning piece of piece of wood across the road when there's no um no hose and then when there is a hole just don't fucking put anything. <sighs> Police cars uh apparently block roads by just going backwards and forwards permanently. Just in case, you know. You never know when there's gonna be a a, a bad guy. This game's great. Logic on this oh fuck off. Well, it worked for that guy anyway. That guy's getting a a fucking higher position. Why? What is that word? Why can't I think of a fucking really a promotion? That guy's getting a fucking promotion. He actually hit somebody with his roadblock. I can just imagine one of these police guys at the high office saying, "But sir, I'm sure if we just fucking stay in the road, maybe to put two cars to block the complete road instead of just one car going backwards and forwards to block the fucking whole road." We'd save petrol for a start, and we'd probably catch more thieves. I don't know what kind of fucking... I don't know who comes up with these strategies. Like, fuck logic together, this game is. Like... <laughs> oh, that just blew my fucking mind, that did. That just blew my mind. This is... Like, I, I think I should explain why that blew my mind, just in case. But, we've got a road, right, a road, road just here, 
this is the road. There's a police car here, and there's a police car here, and they're both doing that. Just, just randomly. Why the fuck would you not just put them both together like this and just block the road? Why? What the fuck? Am I dumb? Are these guys more intelligent than me? Is there something I'm not understanding about saving petrol? The fuck was that, bollocks? That's uh, quite good. That was just fucking bullshit. What the fuck was that shit? Jesus Christ. Oh, that's mind boggling. I'm gonna be awake. I'm gonna be awake thinking about that all night long. This oh, fuck off this fucking hell. I'm gonna be awake thinking why? Why can't I figure it out? Am I dumb? Am I dumb for not being able to figure this out? Maybe maybe they're just more intelligent than me, and that that's what it is. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it seems like it. They can still it still works somehow. I mean, it probably don't work hundred percent of the time, obviously. But fuck it now. This game's crazy. this game's just like fuck. Like it's not even the game. It's just this one fucking world. It's it's this one level, and it's just like fuck logic basically. I think this level this race should be fuck logic instead of uh orange asphalt. It's like literally no. This is not a better name for it. I mean, come on, dude. This is ridiculous. Like fucking police cars going backwards and forwards. Even no. There's like two of them together that can literally just block the road. There's warning pieces of wood when when there's not holes. But when there's holes, there's nothing. Oh my god. My fucking world. Yeah, no, fuck off, dude. Fuck off. The annoying thing is it actually works for him somehow. Sometime. Obviously, it doesn't work for him all the time. If not, I'd just be pissed. But it did seem to work for him. Every now and then. I haven't won the race yet, let's just say, anyway. Fucking turn, dude. Does the Nitro Light actually continue until I want it to stop? Because if that's the case, that's pretty insane. Th these are the two cop cars I really don't understand. The fuck is that, bollocks? Jesus Christ. Th those two cop cars have got to be, be, be the most logical people I've seen in the history of mankind. <coughs> Probably not even their fault. They're probably just told to do that, and they're like, oh my god, why are we doing this? Please kill me. <laughs> it's literally them right now. Uh, it's like, but officer, we could just park together and block the hook. No, shut up. Do what I'm fucking telling you to do. <sighs> oh my god. Speed limit, 155. Seems legit. Seems like it. Five piece soda? Wow. Did that? How can it be five? This weird shit in that soda if that's five P, mate. Is it P? No, it's not. It wouldn't be P if it's, um. I I'm talking in British right now. It would be, uh. Five cent, I guess. <laughs> so, no. Sh shut up. Do what I say. The fucking order. Why, why do you think I'm high off for a zoo and you're just. Some fucking idiot making a roadblock on a, on a desert road that nobody uses except fucking idiots on motorbikes and cars that are racing with a load. It's like, in all fairness, that's even more fuck logic. It's like nobody's going to use this road anyway because there's loads of holes in it. It's like, I don't think the average driver is going to risk their nice new car to go and jump over a hole. I mean, seriously. This game has got the, the best logic out of every fucking game ever. Hey Ted, how's it going mate? Good to see you. Road Warriors. Does that guy look like a road warrior to you? He looks like fucking... Whatever the fucking idiots called out of um, that other cartoon which I really can't remember the name of anymore. Wacky Racers. They they all look like that guy with with like technically different cars and every... Everybody's got the same fucking car, why? Look at that guy go off road, you don't give a fuck. Oh my god. Hey Michael, how's it going mate? Good to see you back. Really do appreciate seeing you around. How's your day going mate? It's good to see you mate. Here we go. I don't think we're gonna win. No, no, no. 
Yeah, I mean, Wacky Races was like the best when you were young. I mean, that was really cool. It's kind of... Um, I think it's it's not the cars that remind me of Wacky Races. It's the guys inside the cars that kind of remind me of that, just with the tall hat and that. I, I can't remember the names of the guys. Was it Dust, Dustly or Dusty? I don't know, something like that. <clears throat> uh, I really can't remember what the, the character's called. I do remember Wacky Races. It was such a cool thing. I don't know why. I mean, I don't remember any of it now, but God, it must have been repetitive. Like, each episode was just a race, right? I mean, there's a... They, I fall for that every time. I mean, they can't have had much ideas. They can't have been much different each episode, could they? I mean, they obviously were, because, um... Because I watched it quite a bit. I don't know. Maybe it was. Oh yeah, the two Captain Caveman guys. Yeah, that's quite good. And there's like that uh, typical guy, like with the scarf and the and the like the glasses on and that, weren't there? <laughs> I don't know. That that's quite um. Like even for now, like that's still quite a unique and peculiar kind of cartoon show, isn't it? I mean. There's really not, like, much... I mean, I, I'm not sure if you can call that a genre, but there's really not much like that, is there? Even even these days, like... There's really not anything... Like, I mean, there may maybe there is, I just simply don't watch the kids' TV anymore. But, I don't know, is there really anything like like that anymore or not? Or do they... Maybe they still make it. Maybe I'm a fucking idiot and they still make it. It'll be quite good, because I really don't know how they come up with the ideas. It's, like, literally just a race and episode. It's like, if that's still going on, I'm fucking flippant though. Because Jesus Christ. Must be the most repeated thing ever. The point of this race is um, to fuck logic, basically. This, 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 just this race in, it's just fucking logic all over the place. I think that's literally the point of it, and there's no other point of it. Ah, oh, getting closer, goddammit. Oh, really? Is there only 17 episodes? Huh. I thought there was a lot more than that. I thought it was like something that lasted for years. Could be wrong. Well, maybe we're talking about something else. I don't think so. <coughs> I mean, if there was... There's only 17 episodes. That'd be really weird. I mean... Flea Panda. That's actually quite a um, quite a Spanish. Well, it is a fucking Spanish word. I don't think anybody understood that, but you know, like, I mean, if there's 17 episodes, it makes sense because um, it was like literally a recent episode, and I really don't don't see how they could keep that up. Like, it must be the the most repetitive thing in the world. But I really liked it when I was younger. Like I watched wacky, wacky races like whenever I could when I was younger. I remember it was such a good show. I, I didn't know there was like only seventeen episodes though. But like I said, it makes sense because you'd run out of ideas. It's good to see you, Antonio. By the way, mate. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, dude. Come on. You're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. What? It's the worst. I don't think I know what car. I remember the best cartoon, or my favorite, personally, my favorite kids' cartoon was um, Car the Car Courage the Cowardly Dog. I really like that. And even though, even when I think back of it now, that was some weird fucking shit. Like, I think back of it now, and there's like some fucked up Silent Hill kind of style shit in that fucking cartoon. I, I, I can, like, I could understand why. Like, I wasn't actually scared when I was younger. But I don't know. Maybe it's because it's, like, more nostalgic and it's the power of nostalgia, it seems, worse or whatever. But I don't know. That, that car was pretty fucked up now you think about it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe because I was, like, younger and it, like, seemed pretty fucking normal, but definitely wasn't normal. Oh, no way. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, you idiot, man. 
God damn it. We, we, that was such an easy win. That was our win right there. A DuckTales. A DuckTales, I know. I think I know what it is. I don't know. DuckTales rings a bell, the name, but I don't know what it is exactly. Like... I uh, thanks Dead Space by the way, mate. Thanks and, and welcome to the stream, Dead Space. I hope you're having a fantastic day with your pug. Hope your fucking pug eats you, mate. Jesus Christ, I'm great fucking good welcome message, yeah, mate. Oh for fuck's sake. Oh my god, how do I keep falling for that fucking trap? Oh my right, fuck it. This the police strategy is working. We need every police car in this country. To do that as a roadblock, just go backwards and forwards randomly, wasting fucking petrol, waste fuel. Look, that's that's how you do a roadblock in this fucking country. That's it. That's how it works. <laughs> fuck, fuck logic. <laughs> this game is great. This game is absolutely fucking amazing. It's like the like we we've, we've already been through this, but the best part, the best part is, instead of, like right, you see it in a minute, but. Basically, it gets worse because in a second, there's like literally two cop cars right beside each other doing that. It's like literally just park in front of one another and you block the road anyway, you idiots. <laughs> and and then, then there's like the, the barriers, the wood barriers like there where there's no hose. And then when there is hose, there's no, bar there's no barrier at all. It's like, why? Oh my god. May, may, be careful you don't go down that hole, you stupid fucking cunt. G.I. Jones. Didn't really watch that either, to be honest. I, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe we've been in a different, like... Like, um, generation. Maybe. I don't know. Like, I, I got a feeling we probably watched different things altogether. Like, the, look at these two cop cars. Look at them. Oh, that's fucking great. Those those two stuff. Oh my god, it's like just fuck logic. Like it's just grab logic and fuck it. Like why don't you just park like this and block the road instead of doing this? What the fuck? Fuck petrol. Petrol's obviously quite fucking, obviously quite cheap in wherever this is. Fuck it. Who knows? Maybe maybe the cars just run on air. Oh my god. Please, best police force in the history of mankind. Not to mention it's an abandoned road with holes all the way across it. Who cares if they're racing? Who fucking cares? There's like literally a hole in the road that goes all the way across it. That's it. That's that's enough for normal cars not to use it. It's like why the fuck would they care? Why? Yeah, you don't move now. Fuck off. Yes, this is warped, yeah. This is the third Crash Bandicoot game, the final Crash Bandicoot game. Finally. Look at that drift, look at that drift. Beautiful. Um, yeah, there, that hole. Just just that hole, that, that means that there's no cars gonna be on this road. Why is there cops? Why does the cops give a flying fuck about this race? So so many un like why is there li why is there pieces of wood there when there's no holes there and when there's holes there's no wood yeah I think logic's pretty good in this game hey Val how's it going good to see you how should they been hopefully better than this poor bot hopefully better than these cop cars logic <laughs> like how they go off road oh my god. Best game ever. Best logical game. Crash free. Oh my god. <sighs> the Garfield car's going really well, as you can see. The bike should be able to go off road. But fuck going off road. Uh, I've been doing alright, Val. Thanks ever so much for asking. I've been good. Uh, my code's getting better, I actually can probably tell my voice. 
Um, I'm not quite as tired today. I'm a bit tired, but nowhere near as tired as yesterday. So, you know, I'm pretty good today, thanks. It'll be good. I think we're going to finish the game tonight. So that's what I'm looking for anyway today. PlayStation Race to start. Even Gran Tur Turismo and Driver. Even What's trash? I like Gran Turismo. Out of all those, the only one I like is Gran Turismo. Um, I mean, you look at Gran Turismo like for the PS One now, and you think, "Fucking hell, that looks that looks pretty shit." And back in, but back in the day, it's like, "Holy shit, that car looks like a fucking real car." Nowadays, you probably couldn't like you'd look back at that, and you couldn't tell a Ferrari from a fucking Toyota. I mean, Jesus, nothing wrong with Toyotas, by the way. But um, and, and not to mention there wasn't actually Ferraris in there back in the day. I don't think, but whatever. You know what I mean. It's like graphics is something that you don't realize how bad they are until you go to the next generation and then come back, basically. Depending on what kind of graphics the game has as well. I mean, like something like this, you'd still come back in like two generations time and think, oh, that looks pretty good. Simply because, you know, this is just a, an animated kind of game. I really like Gran Turismo in general. I mean, out of any other racing game, I think I prefer Gran Turismo. I, re I kind of liked Horizon. No, yeah, is it Horizon? 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 No, wait, what is it? Yeah, what? what is it? Like, um... Forza Horizon. Or, like, it was just Forza back then, weren't it? I like that. Like, the, f the few years I did have an Xbox 360, that's probably my favorite game. For the Xbox, but uh, I've always been a Gran Turismo uh, kind of guy, I'd say. Can we win? I also liked uh, Project Gotham Racing as well. It was a, like a lot more arcadey, but I really like that game. Uh, Uh, I'm kind of a good, like, I'm not good, I don't mean good, I mean, I'm kind of like quite a heavy racing game fan. I mean, I've always been into cars, seen in real life. Oh, for fuck's sake. That should have been another ring. Oh, win, win. <sighs> you always fuck it up on the last bit again, mate. Holy shit. I thought this stream was going to be quite quick. It's like, yeah, we'll just get this last world done. And we'll complete the game today. It'll probably be a very early. Uh, it'll probably be a very quick stream. Thirty minutes in, and we're still on this fucking race. Good job, mate. Good fucking job. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed Mario Kart. Mario Kart's a great game. I kind of miss, like. I kind of do miss, like, having a Nintendo and just chilling on Mario Kart, maybe. Like, even Mario Party and stuff like that. It's like, I do miss having a Nintendo for those kind of things. Though, these days, I don't really have much time to just simply chill and play something. But, you know. If I did, I'd probably definitely pick up a Nintendo. There's no point of picking up, like, a Nintendo for streaming, though. Because they're just bullshit with their stupid copyright issues and shit, so... You know, if it wasn't for the copyright things and all that crap, then yeah, I'd totally buy a Nintendo Switch and stream some of the games. Why not? I'm sure some of them were good fun, including like Mario Kart and stuff. Yeah, I think I, I can agree with that of uh, the track length, actually. Yeah. I mean, it is, it's kind of a weird thing to point out, but it was it, it was pretty spot on. Now you, now you think of it anyway. Well, it, it's kind of short-ish, but oh my god. But it's like the right kind of short-ish. I mean, it was, it was intense, so. And like, I think, m like, more than the length, I think they were just like well designed for their length, if you know what I mean. I don't know if we can... I, I think we could still win this. 
I think we could still win this, guys. Come on. Come on, mate. Let's go. Let's fucking go, mate. Let's fucking go. Anything to say about that dead space, mate? About my fucking spot on driving? <laughs> Little Big Planet Racing. I think I played that once. I think. I think I played that quite a bit with my girlfriend, actually. Every now and then, anyway. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't nothing compared to the rest of them, but it was, it was kind of fun, I guess. You miss it. Oh, my God. Right, Dead Space, go back right now and fucking watch it. That's an order. Yeah, it was free on PS Plus. You are right. Yeah, that's how I played it as well, I think. Talking about PlayStation Plus, I haven't downloaded this month's games, and they're pretty good ones. I think it's even got a VR game as well. Because, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this uh, Riggs, which is a VR kind of multiplayer game that I have played the demo of before, and I don't know. I mean, it was worth $40, so. I'm not sure if it's still worth $40, but it was worth $40 last time I checked, so I'm sure. Oh, fuck off. Diablo 3 on PS4. Get my hands right. Uh, I've never really played Diablo. I I think. Oh for God's sake! What do I, what do you want me to do? If I had to land on that platform, I'd be dead. <laughs> Fuck. Like the thing with Diablo, I'm not sure it's a bad game. I, I'm sure I'd enjoy it very much, but it's a game that I know that you have to dedicate so much. Thanks for pointing me that out, dude. Really do appreciate it. Bet you didn't miss that, did you, Dead Space, mate? Bet you didn't miss that, fucking death. Sadly. Uh, I know I said I'm not streaming tomorrow, by the way, but... Sadly, I'm not going to get that cable until, like, Monday now. Yeah, I'm, gu I'm guessing demos are still free. Yeah. What the fuck? I can't get past the first enemy. Right, okay, so I guess you guys just gotta wait. I hate when this is this is a thing. When games purposely don't let you run through. That's like... Is it wrong if I say that that's artificial difficulty, just making you wait to make something easier? I don't know. I prefer games like, fast games like Super Meat Boy or something, where it really does depend on your skill, and you can physically just go through it as fast as fucking you can. Battle.net, hmm, I don't know. I mean, the only thing I play on Battle.net is Hearthstone every now and then. Well, I obviously play Overwatch, but I actually, well, I don't, it's actually been a long time since I've touched Overwatch. But Overwatch is on PS4 for me. Nah, I, I don't really care. I, I, I mean, unless I know that is like doing something horrible to the gaming industry I really don't care it's like if I enjoy a game I'm gonna play it no matter what it's doing unless it's like something that's like literally pretty much illegal or like I don't know if you say like people are, are suffering or slavery or dying because I'm playing this game then you know I'd think about it but just because it's moving players around or something like that I really don't care Oh, congratulations, Ted. That's that's a lot. I mean, I play quite a lot, and I'm only like level 300, I think. So, well done. Hey, Bloodthirst, how's it going, mate? Good to see you. Oh my god. What the fuck is this bollocks? Heroes of the Storm. Heroes of the Storm wasn't bad. I started playing that a bit. Um, <sighs> I 
like I, I played a bit of Heroes. Of, well, I started playing Heroes of the Storm a bit when uh, they put Tracer on there because I, I main Tracer at the time on Noble Watch. So I was like, oh, that, that's kind of interesting. And yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I didn't mind it. Use my bazooka. Good. There, was that good enough, Dark Killer? Was that good enough, bazooka? <coughs> yeah, I, I played about. Um, sorry, I played um, Heroes of the Storm a bit on PC, obviously, because it's not on anything else. I mean, I do have Bownet on my PC. I got Hearthstone and um, Heroes of the Storm. I'm not sure if I got Heroes of the Storm installed anymore, though. I definitely, I mean, I play Hearthstone every now and then in my spare time. Oh, so it is the one killer. You're right. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just seen Dart at the start and Killer. I thought Dark Killer. Fuck it. That'll do. That would do, mate. Dark Killer. It, it's Dark Killer now, anyway. I know Bloodthirst. Bloodthirst knows how to call me by my name, anyway. By my legit name. With the uh, maestro part in it. That's part of my legit name, obviously. Alright, here we go. Can we just... How many, like, what's this? This is the third level of this world, and we've got two more levels after this. I mean, we should do it today, technically, I mean. We've got, we got, we got some time today, so, or tonight, anyway. But I, I don't think, it's not like we're going to have a lot of, like, enough time to, like, do something else afterwards, so. It's going to be alright, I think. It's going to be perfect. We complete this, and that's it, you know. Like I said, tomorrow probably no stream. Um, next stream will probably be Sunday, but I won't have the the cable to to stream like other things until um sorry Monday. So I'm not sure really what what to stream on Sunday. I'm not really sure what series. Like the next series I would like to do is like Dark Souls One. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll find like some other random game to play or something. I don't know. Hopefully starting Monday though, we will start like the legit schedule like I said, afternoon streams, just like a random game that you're probably going to play once, or like PUBG or something. Oh you fucking idiot. And then in the afternoon, like actually do whatever series we've got going on, which will maybe Demon Souls or Dark Souls 1. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Demon Souls already depends if I can get... Oh my fucking god, how do you do that? I think we're dead now. Alright, we're still... Uh, how am I getting all these lives, by the way? Oh, fuck off. Symphons of the Night. Never heard of it, mate. I mean, try it, though, even though I've never heard of it. Would that be like a one-off game, or like an actual series? Oh my... Fucking god, I hate that. If there's one thing I'd hate in these type of games is that they're clearly designed to make you wait. It's like, it's timed so perfectly, so you just, you can't just keep going, you know? That pisses me off quite a lot. I much prefer, like, faster games like Super Meat Boy, where, like, they don't use that strategy to kill you. Like, you don't have to stop if you've got the skills. And this one you do, anyway. <clears throat> uh, I'll take my astro, mate. I'll take my astro. Nine dollars, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely an Aladdin based level, yeah. I, I think we can agree with that. What the fuck do you want me to do there? Uh, I, I hate to say this, but I think this carpet is a bit. Um, oh no, it's not. There we go. I was gonna say, if we had to jump from one carpet to the other, I think it would be fucked. Come on, please tell me there's the end of the level, god damn it. Oh, fuck it. We're probably like, alright, good, we got a life, that's something anyway. Something for us to think about. Yes. Oh, 
thank God for that. I really didn't like that level at all. Two levels to go, guys. Two levels to go. <laughs> they tried to copy. I mean, I didn't play... I did play Aladdin. I didn't play Battletoads, though. Okay, this is a plane level. I, I kind of, I mean, I kind of enjoy the um, vehicle levels, obviously because it just it, it gives variety to the um, game. To be honest, all the games that Ted's saying, I most of them I haven't played because I think I was I'm I was probably a bit too young when that happened. I'm guessing Ted's probably a bit older than me. Uh no, Bloodthirst, uh, Maestro is uh, pretty. Spot on, mate. If I say so myself. Shoot down the bombers. Like, the oldest console I've had is a Sega Mega Drive. And... It wasn't actually my first console. The first console I had was a Nintendo 64. Then a PS1. <coughs> but in, in the mix of that, I did get a hold of a Sega Mega Drive. Alright, Ted's definitely older than me, yeah. Okay. I mean, it makes sense because like, a lot of the games he's saying, I do know what they are. But I haven't ever played any of them, so. I think we need some health here, guys. Just saying, there we go. I think I was a bit too young when, when all that happened, you know. How is that not here, no? There we go. Maestro is sounds absolutely fucking perfect, mate. Got a new game every week. That is some lucky motherfucker right there. Especially back in those days. I mean, God. Yeah, that Dead Space is more of like my era, my genre. I mean, not my caliber. I mean, we're not. We're not just because we both got pugs. That doesn't mean like we can compare to each other. I mean, come on. Why is my plane? Well, I can. I know what my plane's about to die because. There we go. Easy enough. First go. Easy win. GG. Good shit, Bloodthirst. Make sure you uh, spread my my propaganda and ideology around the world. Like a good, um, not minion. I think minion would be a bit harsh. What other words do we have? What's not? Um, oh, really? Dead space. Because I think they give us the crystal when we fucking win. Poor dead space. Just go and feed your pug, mate. You can. Well, I think you're probably already feeding your pug because you're not really paying attention, are we? Are we dead space? We're not. We're not paying attention. Fuck that snake. Just let him. Okay. Just. Fucking hell! That like. Dead space. Let's not joke about those things. Alright. Thanks. We should know the limits to our jokes here, Dead Space, and that is not Joking about missing a crystal is not one of those things that you should joke about, alright? Let's let's all have our limits to our fucking jokes. I mean I I've never played an Atari. I know my parents had an Atari. They played that, but I I didn't have it. I've never played an Atari, I don't think. I've never touched one, I don't think. Yes, that's good shit, Bloodthirst, mate. That is exactly what I wanted to hear. Me. <laughs> that's my religion right there. God damn it. Right. Come on, come on, come on. 
Ah, oh, thanks, Dead Space, mate. Thanks so fucking much. Well, my pug is uh, quite literally um, fed with your donations. That's not really even a lie. <laughs> you can take that as a compliment, though, I think. God damn. I'll check after it, Dead Space, but I fucking hope not. Though, now you think of it, you could be right, because the arrow was pointing at something. That's so fucking retarded how badly timed that is. Well, how well timed that is. How conveniently timed everything is on this fucking game makes me sick. Oh, my God. Oh, fine. Oh, my God. Did I really miss the crystal? Going back and get it. I'm doing it in order. Are you sure I missed the crystal? Are we fucking sure? How do you know if you missed the crystal? See it oh my god. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Dead Space. Fucking appreciate it. Oh my god. Thanks. Apex Seppo. I don't know, I wouldn't know because I'd never even touched World of Warcraft in my life. I'm like saying way ahead, of, way like away from that kind of game. I know that any any MMORPG would just absorb my life like like Dead Space's pug absorbs fucking biscuits. That's the, oh my fucking god. Thanks for the fun guys, really appreciate it. Come on, put a said weirdly. You can um serve me by, uh, I don't know. Getting some biscuits would be fucking great. And a pizza. No, no, you're right. Pizzas would be pretty good. Pizzas and biscuits, maybe. Some sushi. Sushi is fucking great. There you go. Fucking legendary. This I trust in that light? No. Oh. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Cool. Sure, what it is. I guess it's just the light. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess like before when you when you played video games a lot, there wasn't really any record or anything. Hey, you know what? You know what you can go and do, Dead Space. You know what you can go and do. You you. I don't even think. I don't even have to. I don't even have to tell you what you can go and do. You know exactly what you can go and do. Mate. Fucking let's go. It's about time. I think this is the first time I've ever done this on this game on number three, and it's literally the last level. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> I think it's just I think they put three of them together just to make sure you at least got to try it once. How long is it fucking level though? Ah, oh, pot noodles are nice. Oh, I would. It's been ages since I've seen pot noodles over here in Spain. I mean, there's obviously different types of um, ramen instant noodles, but um, like pot noodle, the actual make pot noodle. I have seen it every now and then, but but it's very rare to find pot noodle. Is this broke? Oh no, wait, we're actually still going. Are you fucking kidding me? I was like, what's happening? <laughs> It's really weird that the game would load in the middle of the fucking level. Huh. God damn it. Yeah, th th this one's been copied directly from Temple Run, I think. Right, last level, guys. That's it. I think we're about to start the final, final boss. <sighs> yeah. 
yeah, it, it, like I that would be really weird, Ted. Like I don't, like I don't think I can really imagine like what it's gonna be like in ten years, because I mean, there's gonna be a limit of what they can do, I guess. Right, this is it, guys. Final boss of this game. Yeah, this game is really short, by the way, as you probably tell. I mean, there's only 25 levels and we've done them all. Ah uh, ha ha. I bet it is like bounce three times in his head, that's it, done. Goodbye. The, so far, the bosses on this game have been absurdly easy, so. Yeah. Maybe this one's a bit harder. Oh, it's the good guy against the bad guy. Cool. Look at that. Look at that epic fucking Dragon Ball type battle going along. Jesus Christ. God, that's some fucking serious shit going on just there. Fuck is this shit? Oh wait, what? Did his shield just come off? I'm not sure if his shield just came off or not, actually. Yeah, it did. Oh, you fucking idiot. I just looked at the replay and his shield does come off a second there. Uh, I think Wumper Fruit Party sounds pretty good. I don't really like, um... I mean, cherries aren't bad, but I don't, I don't find the same much, really. The hitboxes on this game are just stupid. Uh, Dead Space. I don't know, maybe you're clapping because I'm finally on the final boss because you think I'm the best Crash player in the history of mankind and I've got to the last boss very, very quickly. So thanks for the applause, Dead Space. Hi, Bloodthirst, mate. Thanks ever so much for dropping by. Really do appreciate it. Take care, mate. I'm not really sure if we're going to continue streaming after this or not because I mean like there's, there's not really anything we've got to stream after this fuck, fuck. So fucking what do you want me to do about that what tell me one reason I can skip and I can dodge that he just shot me in the head I guess stay away from him maybe Ah, Dead Space. Thank you so, so much for the dollar, dude. Really do appreciate it. You know I appreciate it, mate. Get some praising going for the Dead Space dollar. The Dead Space fucking dollar. I want to check. I Just out of curiosity, I want to check if that actually uh, did take health away from the boss thingy. Okay, look at those Nico coins destroy everything else. By the way, those are those are coins with my logo on them. Are a bit of an error. They're not actually supposed to be there, but okay. Thank you, Dead Space. Thank you for the dollar. Did it um, actually do the boss thing? Nope. Boss thing is still broken as fuck. Why can't why why does not the boss thing work? I really want the boss thing to work. It seems like such a cool idea, but it doesn't work. Fuck. Like I said, it's a new feature, so I'm guessing they've just got to sort that shit out. That jar is pretty full at the moment. What I may do is like reset the tip jar every stream. I don't know. So, I mean, it's been, it's only been like two streams and it's pretty full. It's like almost completely to the top. <clears throat> I mean, maybe not. It's like halfway. You know what I mean, god damn it. Nah, fuck off, dude. Is he not dead yet? You gotta knock him down. Oh, there you go. Alright, th this boss is, is a bit more intense. Alright. Oh, I thought I had to jump down after all. Like, I seen everybody jump down. It's like, oh, it must be down there. Then. The party must continue down there. Bullshit. God damn it. <coughs> Fuck. Technically, De Dead Space does actually have the whole st um, feed, I think. But the, the test donation I did, that says me. Kind of ruined it. 
fuck's sake. That was so dumb. Ah, stay down there, motherfucker. Holy shit, they fusioned. It's obviously... Oh, no, wait, it's still going on. The fuck is going on? Okay. Ah, this one... Oh, God, that is so fucking dumb. That is dumb, alright. It's so dumb. So dumb. I'll do it again. Don't stay underneath him. It's like when you're really close to him, those balls just hit you straight in the fucking head. Be fucking careful with this shit. Okay, okay. First bit seems easy enough. Technically, I hope. I hope the second one, I mean, has, would this boss have a second phase? I mean, it's the final boss, so maybe he does, I'm not sure, but... I don't know, it just seems like the type of uh, gameplay battle that doesn't, wouldn't really actually even have a second phase, I don't know. Could be wrong, though. I really don't know, these fucking balls going around. Oh, shit. That's close. Ah, oh, come on, Dead Space. You're only doing it to get your donation. I can't believe that fucking killed me. Thanks ever so much. Choke, choke our pugs with food. What? I'm pretty sure the hashtag, hashtag was meant to be feed our pugs, but okay, Dead Space, I'll take it. Thanks ever so much for another $3, mate. Really do appreciate it. Yes, that was a praise. I, I just like how how wide I can praise in this room. Because this this room is the best praising room ever. Alright? Fact. Best praising room ever. <sighs> Why is this loading screen so fucking dumb? I don't get it. Alright, if you die, you have to start from the start anyway. But if you completely lose all your lives, there's got to be a loading screen. And it's literally loading the exact same fucking thing. Fuck off, dude. Don't care. Here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go. By the way, Dead Space, are you back in Nevada yet, or are you still uh, with your parents in Florida? And when are you thinking of going back? Are you still going to be doing your like your um your flying le flight lessons, or is that like uh, on hold for now? I'm guessing it's, it's got to be on hold, right? Fucking dumb piece of shit. The rest of the game has literally been the easiest thing ever, especially the bosses, and now this happens. God damn it. Fuck off, I look away for a second. Guys, praise Dead Space, by the way. I know you don't want to chat with me, and that's fine, but just praise Dead Space at least. I, I wish YouTube notifications would go out for everybody because it pisses me off so much when you start streaming. And you can tell that the notifications don't go out. It's probably gone out for a few people. Like even this afternoon stream, like people were saying, um, people were saying that notifications weren't getting into them like an hour afterwards. Oh, you still are you actually doing your flight lessons though, Dead Space, or or are they on hold, or ask your instructor come back and all that and give you flight lessons? Right. And then mate, let's go. Done? Yes, okay. Let's make sure you don't get hit by this bollocks. There we go, alright. Yeah, finally. In fact, you hate them. Well, I mean, to be honest, I'd never played them when I was young. Uh, but everybody seemed to have fucking loved this game so, so much that it, it, as if it was like the best game in history of mankind. I don't think that's the case after playing them. It is a good game. But it's not. I, I don't 
quite understand why everybody's like. I mean, back back in the day, maybe yeah, but I don't know. I kind of understand why it's got the fame it's got, but only to a certain degree. Is this it? Can we please just say this is it? Is that it, really? I don't like how we're getting another ability there. To run faster, hold down R2 button while running. Hmm. Don't like that. If we get another ability, maybe it's not all over yet. I I, I don't think that was not me. That was not me, either. Oh my god. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing there, Dead Space. Getting all your fucking coins in my in my pot in my jar. <laughs> it's like it's nearly filled up just with your little coins. God damn it. Thanks ever so much, Dead Space. Really do appreciate it, mate. Hashtag Dead Space is the best donator, according to him anyway. Why did we get another ability if the game is actually over? Alright. Toys for Bob, apparently. We have... Well, finished Crash Bandicoot, basically, guys. So that's that's good. That's cool. That's. I mean, I'm glad we did come back and... Like, finish this Crash Bandicoot. 3 plus 2 makes 5, plus the 1 in Super Chat makes 6, mate. Well done. That's it. That is really it. I th that was a bit surprising. I thought it was going to be longer. But you could tell it wasn't really doing that long. Oh, it's for the time trials. That's kind of cheating, really. Because if there's some, like, poor motherfucker that, like, said... Right, I'm, I'm going to do this game 100%, completed a level, and then did the time trials, like, without continuing. He must be like, how the fuck did everybody get so much, so, so good times? I can't run that fast. Fuck's sake, I feel sorry for anybody who has done that, and I'm sure there's more than one person that's done that. Cuphead on the I'm going to just check out what Cuphead is, if you don't mind. I'm not sure what to think about the, the, the thumbnail right now, mate. I'm not gonna lie. Cuphead, how the fuck is this game? <coughs> Are you serious? <laughs> the fuck is this game? I kind of like the graphic style to it. How how long is this game? Like Cophead, how long is Cophead? Is it that long or or is it not? <sighs> Sounds about like our type of game, doesn't it, Dead Space? Seems like the type of game you would get off the wish list. God damn it. Time twister, what's the time twister? We can fucking no, no. <laughs> right one. Just just give me a second. It's Cuphead for PS4. That's the. I, I got a feeling it isn't going to be for PS4, but you never know. Hey Dan, thanks for the sub, mate. Really do appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. I think it's not on PS4. If it is, I'm gonna fucking. No, I guess not for PS4. Oh. If it was PS4, yeah, but it's like, like I said, until I get that cable, I can't really, I can't really play. Um, I can't really stream PC games, you know. Like, I wish I could. I mean, once I get the cable, which should be Monday, then yeah, why not? You know. No, I, I, I can play on PC. I just need to wait until I get the cable, mate. Like, on Monday, I'll play it. If I get the... I should, like, fucking get the... I was guaranteed to get the cable today, according to Amazon Prime. That was a fucking joke. So i got to wait until Monday now. But if... When I get the cable Monday... Um... I'll, I'll definitely pick... 
like I would definitely be able to play on PC so maybe we can do that oh it's on Xbox exclusive normally when it's an Xbox exclusive you can pick it up for PC as well so that's not really an issue Uh, it wasn't Amazon's fault though, it was, um, it was fucking the transport company. It was a bit weird on my side, but, like, so basically what happened is when I ordered it off of Amazon, um, I knew what company it was going to come with, and I've had a bad experience with that transport company before, so... I went to their page and there's a specific option to like point out that I want to go there and pick it up which is just like 10 minutes down the road of the car so I'm like right fuck it just to make sure I get it today I will go and pick it up myself and I marked that as an option so I went down there in the afternoon and the woman at the at the counter I said, look, I marked this to come and pick it up. Uh, can you give me it now? And I, she said, I can't give it to you because the um, the guy that's going around, um, like the actual transport guy going around your town, it has got it and he should be delivering it in the next hour or two. So I was like, fine, okay, right. If that's the case, then whatever. But if... Like if anything goes wrong, can I pick it up in the in the afternoon? And he said, she said, yeah, you can come at half seven if if you don't receive it today for whatever reason. I'm like, okay, fine. Went back home, waited all afternoon long. Nobody showed up, so I went down there at half seven, and it's fucking shut. It's like best company, EU. Um, it wasn't sold. But I have had fucking um, bad experience with them too. It was um, ASM or AS, yeah, ASM. I didn't really want to name it, but I don't think nobody knows who the fuck they are on the stream anyway. So it was like, really, you kidding me? And now, and like, because it's Friday, I gotta wait until fucking. I gotta wait until Monday now. I mean, it's not Amazon's fault, but it's, it's ASM's fault. Like, I specifically pointed out on... It's like if you go to the, your, their website, it's like a massive... It's like the main button on their website is to say, I would like to um, pick it up myself. It's like a, a key feature on their website or, or their transport. It's like, okay, I'll use that. I prefer to go and pick it up myself anyway. I've, I've had... um. I've had the best experience, like, I've had a really bad experience with these in the past. I'd prefer to go just pick it up. It's like a 10 minute drive. Yeah, that's a bad idea, I guess. They, they, they like, just ignored that completely. It's like, no, the guy's got it in the, in the van. He, he should deliver it in about an hour or two. Bullshit. Bullshit. Uh, ASM is just like a transport or logistics uh, thingy company that delivers. A pretty bad one, in my opinion. I've had, like, this is the second time I've had issues with them thing is now I, got a, now I can't stream uh, on the PC over the weekend but, uh, I mean the the other thing is like I, it's like fine why don't you just go down the shop and buy a display port cable that doesn't exist in Spain yet apparently like display port has been out for how many years now probably three or four at least like you, you go to any electronic shop in Spain and say, "Can I, have you got any display to HDMI cables?" Like, uh, you mean HDMI to VGA? It's like no. I I remember that I said in one of the shops, I was like, uh, "Do you have an adapter or a cable that goes from DisplayPort to HDMI?" It's like no, but I have this HDMI splitter that can go from two HDMI's to one or some shit like that. It's like are you fucking serious? Like, I did not say anything about a splitter. It's like what the fuck. He just completely ignored me. It's like I can't believe nobody knows what a display port is over here. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with Resident Evil. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like the first episode. Boston didn't make the game feel as like as good as I thought it was gonna be. I don't know. I think I preferred the first one a lot, like a lot more than the one we started. I may go back with it though. Eventually, Dead Space. I'm not 100% sure, mate. So. 
So the thing is, um, I'm just gonna add those six dollars, by the way, to your to your total donations, dude. Right. Uh, where's your top donors? Right. We go and add those six dollars. Thanks again, mate. There you go. What was he talking about? Right, so I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'll find some game to stream on Sunday. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe like a one-off game or something. I'm not sure, but I'll do something on Sunday for sure. And on Monday, I think I should have my cable if ASM doesn't do something really fucking weird. It's like I'm going to get up Monday morning and go straight down there before they even get fucking chance to open the place to make sure my fucking cable's there. It's like I won't even let the lorry, the truck leave the place. It's like, right mate, you better not be leaving with my fucking cable this time. And if he does, I'm going to follow that truck around until he's at my doorstep. Monday, hopefully in the afternoon, we'll probably stream some PUBG or something like that. And in the afternoon, we will start another series. I'm not sure if it's going to be Dark Souls 1 or something else, all right? Unless you guys have got any better ideas. That's not... Well, actually, no, like you said, yeah. Uh, we could do the Cup Guy, Cuphead. I'll look into it. I'll look into Cuphead a bit more. If I th think that it's not too long and it's on PC, then I'll probably end up streaming Cuphead. If it really does look that good. And that can be our new night series. And like I said, in the afternoon, we're going to do like PUBG or some other random multiplayer games. Or just like one-off streams. Like games short enough that you can do in one look. Or sorry, one stream. Or we could do games like uh, really new games like a first look video or some shit like that. That's what, that's what I'm hoping anyway, you know. Right, um, before we leave... Let's not forget that um that we have got that we can roll credits. It's like the best feature by far the roll credits. But um yeah guys, that's what I've got planned. The only thing I'm not completely sure is about Sunday. So there won't be a stream tomorrow. But Sunday we will do something. I'm not sure what. Uh anyhow, I will um I will keep in contact over Discord, as always. Uh, even even if you think I don't read everything on Discord, I normally do try and read most of it. So, if if Cuphead is on PC, if I can confirm that by Sunday, I'll probably put it on the wish list during Sunday stream. All right, and that will probably be the series that we start on. On Monday, Monday night that is. I think like I can't guarantee it, but I'll let you guys know. Um, the garbage bin filled with dead space. It's not a garbage bin. It's a tip jar, dude. You should be you should be proud of that. Depending how fast the tip jar gets filled up, I will probably reset it each stream or not. I will not at the moment. I think it's cool. Like it gives you an objective maybe to fill it up and all that, but. For now, we'll leave it like that. But if if I if like it starts to like get filled up really quickly during the stream, then we'll probably reset it every stream. Why the fuck are the credits not playing? I thought I had this sorted. I thought I had the credits working. Obviously not. God damn it! Come on. Come on, credits. Credits. If you want to call it a garbage bin, then come on, credits. I thought I had you sorted for fuck's sake. What's wrong with the fucking credits now? Streamlabs is fucking up. Oh my god. Any secret scene after the credits? <laughs> yeah, probably the BRB screen at best. Where the fuck are the credits now? Oh, oh, wait, the fuck was that? 
That that was some bull crap. Right, you got the credits, guys. Fuck it. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck was that shit? Right, I'll just try and roll the credits again. Thanks, uh, Mega Games. Thanks for the sub. Really do appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Who knows? Just about to end. I'm not sure if your name will now come up on the credits or not. Depends how long these credits are gonna are gonna take by the loads of things. Fuck! Come on, credits. Come on, credits, dude. Don't let me down like this. We're not leaving here without the credits rolling. Technically, the only guy on the donor side of credits is going to be Dead Space right now, but... Ah, it's only Dead Space. We can forget about it, right? Actually, technically, my name will be on the credits as well. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? It's really not that, that hard. It's just literally credits. Am I doing something wrong? I don't think there's really much I can do wrong. Actual fuck. Okay. All right, there. Finally, thank God. That honestly is as slow as it can go. That's fucking ridiculous. It's like really fast. What the fuck? I'm going to see if I can make it go um slower somehow. I don't know. It just seems way too fast. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that though, sadly. Wait, what the fuck was that shit? No, fuck. Fuck, you know. I really don't know. I do not like. What do it again? Can I like only roll credits once in my life or what? It's really not, it's like, it's like the simplest of features, if you ask me. I can't understand how this is so slow. Or how this is not working. It's like, there's literally a button on stream last that says, roll credits. Roll credits. The fuck is this? Really need to sort that fucking shit out. Star Wars. Like, what the fuck was that? Seriously. Delay time. What's delay time? Save settings. Okay. This, this is mystery time. This is wow. Yeah. I think I'm getting in big trouble for fucking spoiling and, and leaking the new fucking Star Wars movie now. Fuck my life. Oh, look. Fucking finally. <sighs> finally. It's about fucking time. Now, technically, it should appear again. I think. I don't want it to loop, like... that's just, I don't want it to loop. That's just ridiculous. It's like, I can understand why it takes a while because it's got to retrieve everything from this live stream. Like, it's not just retrieving everything. It's got to, like, actually see what's been done this specific live stream. I can understand it takes a bit, but fucking hell, it's ridiculous with today's fucking technology. It's 
just four seconds of your life. What, the episode eight being spoiled? Yes, finally, it's working as intended. Okay, Jesus Christ. Anyway, guys, uh, we're off for today, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. Thanks, Dead Space, for the donations. Really do appreciate the support, guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not be able to live stream every single day. So, yeah, I really do appreciate it. And thanks for an amazing chat and a community. And uh, I won't be streaming tomorrow, but I will be around Discord. So I'll see you there, and I will see you live on Sunday. Okay, guys? So we will see you tomorrow. No, tomorrow, fuck's sake. We've just been through this. I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye.